First thing I want to do when I start riding in the side pull is you want to do exactly what it is. It's a side pull. I see so many people riding up here and they're riding close and they're pulling that horse's head up and they're pulling that nose band up that horse's jaw. A side pull is meant to ride and guide. Side pull, side pull. Just follow the name of it. And you say go get the side pull, just always ride it for what it says, side pull. <clears throat> now, in the training aspects of the horse, <clears throat> a, a couple of things that you want to teach your horse, I want to teach my horse stop, I want to teach my horse back up, and I want to teach my horse turn. That's the first things that I like to have in a horse. If you can stop a horse and back it up, well, let me back up. If you can back a horse up, you can stop it. If you can, if you can back a horse up, you can get off of that horse. So a safety, I don't want to just stop a horse. I want to be able to have that horse take a couple of steps backwards. Okay? That's just, uh, uh, just, just to know that I can stop. I want that horse thinking every time, step back. Just a couple of steps, not a big deal. All right. Now what I don't want to do on my young horse is I don't want to start getting a lot of bend in him. You know, you, you don't get bend and flex. Bend and flex is a good thing, but it also can work against you if you don't use it properly. The more I bend this horse, the more this horse is going to throw its right shoulder out. And see how it starts walking wide right there? The, and then <clears throat> what a lot of people try to do is, is if I bend this horse like this and see how she starts walking out, they pull harder. And they think harder is going to make it. What you've got to do actually, when you start riding that horse and you make this bend and that horse, that horse starts bending too, too far. There she goes. When she starts getting bent too far, I'm going to actually soften my hand and come in with this left leg right here and, and, and move the horse back up into the circle where it needs to be. So pulling harder, once that, that, that horse, see that's not working right there. Relax that rein, come in with the calf of your leg, tap the calf of that leg a little bit, bring that horse back up into the circle it needs to be in. So what I like to do is I, I kind of like to keep this horse's head in the width of my shoulders right here. I kind of set me two little lanes right here with my thumbs. I ride my thumbs forward. And I set this horse a lane to walk in. When I come around with the camera, I think you'll be able to see that right there. I'm not going to get all hung out here like this. If I get all over here, well look, I'm over steering because my horse is outside the lane. So I, pulling harder is not going to bring that horse over. Bring the lane back to the horse. Use your leg a little bit and, and keep that horse inside your thumbs right here, inside your shoulders. Okay. Switch directions. <clears throat> 